Meatball wizard is a, a little meatball with two arms and a pretty serious attitude. He's a grumpy little guy and he wants nothing more than to be taken seriously as a wizard. He wants to be a powerful wizard. He wants to be feared. So he's founded a group called Powercom, which ironically is made up of a bunch of um, adorable, harmless wizards, relatively harmless. And they have quite a following um, of people who just think they're adorable. And that really burns up Meatball Wizard uh, because you know he wants to be respected and feared. And this is doing nothing for that. Even by naming his group Powercom, it doesn't really help. It makes it even worse. Uh, his powers include he can manipulate marinara sauce and he can also launch um, pasta bombs that explode with hot sauce, I guess. Um, I, he can pretty much use any Italian food, uh, especially if it's meat or pasta based to his advantage to use as a, to weaponize it, but it really doesn't do much. So uh, yeah, he's kind of funny because he's so grumpy and so wanting to be uh, powerful and feared, but he's not at all. He's just a floating little ball of meat with arms and a funny little hat. So <laughs> that's, that's Meatball Wizard. Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw and color Meatball Wizard. First, a circle. You notice I make multiple passes because my circles are never perfect the first time. And then the hat, which is a cone shape followed by a meatball texture, little cloud shapes, and then meatball wizard's eyes with the furrowed brow and a grumpy little face. And then I'm going to add his arms, which usually just hang at his sides. And then I'll finish off the meatball texture underneath and then add some other textures within. And then of course cast shadow and he's ready for inking. So I use a Kuretake brush pen I got that on Amazon, it is waterproof, and it's very thick. I tend to outline the outer contours with a thicker line and then use the inner contours with more thin uh, micron pens. So now the outer contour is done, I'll switch to the micron, this is an 05, and I'm going to now outline just the smaller inner contours, uh, smaller details. And then it'll be time to erase. So I'm using a kneaded eraser to get rid of all the extra pencil lines to prepare Meatball Wizard for coloring. I'm going to leave the shadow as graphite just to... Um... Oh wait, no, I erased the shadow. Oh well. Okay, so now it's time to color and I'm using a Copic marker. I buy Copics on Craigslist or eBay just to save money, but you don't have to use Copic. Any you know paint marker will do. I'm coloring in a circular motion to emphasize the texture. And then now I'm going to emphasize or just uh, reestablish those lines with the brush pen. And then color in the arms with pink, a pink Copic. And then lastly, his hat. I left a little bit of white on the left there just for a shine to the hat. And then there's the cast shadow. And now uh, for some color pencil overlay, which I like to do just to add more texture and more of a 3D shadow quality to it. So I'm using a dark brown underneath Meatball Wizard's body. And then I'm going to use um, an indigo blue for some of the shade uh, on his arms and then even the lower parts of the reflected light underneath um, Meatball Wizard. And then I'll use a dark blue uh, for the hat as well, just to add to that shine and, and shadow. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>